What do Harry Styles and Coachella have in common? Breaking news from BTS and her debuts a powerful new track to honor George Floyd. These are your top Billboard stories for Thursday, June 11th. First up, Harry Styles, Coachella, and Stagecoach. More postponements due to the coronavirus pandemic. I'll let Billboard's Jordan Rowling fill you in. Originally scheduled to begin on June 26th in Philly, Harry has pushed back his Love on Tour North American trek to next summer, instead aiming for an August 14th, 2021 kickoff in Washington State before traveling all over the U.S. until the end of October. The good news? It looks like the Watermelon Sugar singer's opening acts will remain the same, Jenny Lewis and Coffee. And Coachella and Country Music Festival Stagecoach won't be taking place this year either due to county and state restrictions. A statement from Riverside County reads the events, which were earlier postponed until October, have been canceled for 2020. Next year dates for the festivals have yet to be announced, but sources tell Billboard officials at promoter Golden Voice are deciding whether to slate the two-weekend 125,000 capacity Coachella at likely a limited capacity return in April 2021 or stage a higher capacity comeback in October. 2021. Next up, the fellas of BTS unveiled a new music video for their song We Are Bulletproof the Eternal as part of Festa 2020. In the clip, adorable animated versions of RM, Suga, J-Hope, Jin, V, Jimin, and Jungkook wander through a cityscape and run through fields together before rocketing into the clouds on the back of a giant whale. With lyrics that find them taking a look back on their journey over the last seven years. Now the music video wasn't the only treat BTS had in store for ARMY. A new Japanese album is on the way. It's titled Map of the Soul 7 The Journey and is slated for release July 14th via Big Hit Entertainment. I can't breathe. You're taking my Lastly, in the latest episode of iHeartRadio's Living Room Concert Series, Her debuted a moving new song titled I Can't Breathe. Here's Jordan Rowling with that story. In the wake of several weeks of protests following the murders of three more unarmed black people, Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, and George Floyd. These lyrics were kind of easy to write because it came from a conversation of what's happening right now, what's been happening, and the change that we need to see. Shouting out those promoting justice, peace, equality, and passion, her says she wrote I Can't Breathe to hopefully make a mark in history. I can't breathe. That is all for me, but for more on these stories, you can head to billboard.com. And until next time, for Billboard News, I'm Chelsea Briggs.